Hey everybody, welcome in for episode 23. We had so many comments, suggestions, and questions about our Understanding Fats video, Dr. Whiting explaining it all. We decided to even go more in depth and deeper into fats. So let's get right to it. Got a whole list of questions just to make sure I don't leave anything of the comments out or the questions out. And so what are the symptoms of fat deficiency? Well, there are several, uh, but the most common is skin, hair, and nails. So you're going to get dry, flaky skin. You're going to get brittle hair, hair loss. Uh, you're going to get poor wound healing because uh, your immune system requires fatty acids. Uh, other things would be fatigue, memory issues, uh, weakened immunity, as I mentioned, and uh, even uh, poor memory so interesting how it affects all that how does fat deficiencies affect skin health well your skin needs moisture and a lot of us especially the ladies are, are lathering on these various creams and lotions all the time in an attempt to keep their skin uh, looking good and supple and moist when the fact of the matter is is that's only a temporary fix your skin derives moisture internally from fatty acids, which come huh. from the fat in your diet. And so which are the good fatty acids? Is it three, six, and nines? Well, those are the major ones, three, six, and nine. The two good ones are three and nine, the best of which is three. Um, so does that mean six isn't good? Yes, in, in, because omega-6 fatty acids are pro-inflammatory. Okay. And they're very prevalent in the uh, junk food diet. And so we're already getting overloaded and overdosed with omega-6 in the absence or deficiency of omega-3, producing a pro-inflammatory condition. And so like you said, can fat deficiency lead to hair loss? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Huh. Uh, you're, again, it's a moisture issue. And um, we don't, nobody wants to shrivel up and, and waste away. So uh, I remember when uh, the low-fat diet craze was out in the early 80s. We had more people that were walking around half bald uh, than any other time I can remember. Huh. Simply because they had no uh, adequate fatty acids. And so how does di dietary fat deficiencies impact hormone production? Well... Uh, all, all your essential hormones, especially the sex hormones, so that would be the androgens, testosterone, estrogens, so forth, require omega-3 fatty acids for their production. Yeah. So in the absence thereof, uh, those hormones can not only become deficient, but they become imbalanced, which can produce a host of side effects. Hmm. And so what foods can help prevent fat deficiency? Well, uh, that's a loaded question, but uh, in short, uh, foods like avocados, fatty fish like salmon, um, nuts, seeds, olive oil, um, avocado oil. Like all kind of, like cashews and peanuts? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, olive oil, which is the Mediterranean great, and avocado oil if you want to fry at higher temperatures because it's very stable. Hmm. And so how does fat deficiency affect brain function? Oh, in a big way. Uh, Omega-3s are crucial for brain function. Uh, it can lead to cognitive impairment, uh, poor memory, concentration and focus. And if it goes on long enough, things like mood disorders and depression. And keep in mind uh, that overall body health from omega-3s uh, benefits from uh, its anti-inflammatory effects. Mm, okay. And so what happens if you don't get enough omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids? Well, the first thing you'll notice is dry, scaly skin. Yeah. You might notice a weakened immune system. You might notice poor quality of hair, brittle, falling out. Um, you Brittle may have, nails. Yeah, you may have short-term memory uh, uh, impairment. Uh, keeping in mind that 
uh, omega-3s are even important for preventing such things as heart disease and so forth because uh, of its anti-inflammatory effects. And so how does it lead to depression? Well, your brain produces a wide variety of hormones. It produces feel-good hormones and it produces other hormones. Yeah. And it produces stress hormones. Well, if uh, the feel-good hormones uh, rely especially on omega-3s. And so if they're deficient uh, and those hormones can go uh, too low, then moodiness and eventual anxiety and depression can result. Hmm. And so how can fat deficiencies impact heart health? Well, uh, we've been told for decades that, oh, low-fat diet's the yeah. only way to save your heart. Nonsense. The right types of fats are important, which include the uh, monounsaturates and to a lesser degree the polyunsaturates. Uh, but in general you want to avoid concentrated polyunsaturates because they have uh, the ability to form free radicals that can attack the cardiovascular system. So mono is good, poly is bad. Correct. Okay. And saturated in moderation is delicious. Yeah, well, that a little bit. Yeah, in moderation. Is it possible to be fat? Okay, here's a big one. Is it possible to be fat deficient while overweight? You betcha. Uh, that is one of the main uh, questions and comments that we is, got. It's, it's, it's not only possible, it's very, very likely. When people go on a diet to lose weight, what's the first thing that they do? They count calories, right? Well, and they count fat usually. Because fat has three times as many calories as any other food. Yeah. So why wouldn't they cut out all the fat? And yeah. the end result is uh, a severe deficiency of the omega uh, fatty acids and you're still fat. <laughs> yeah. And how does, how does a low fat diet affect fertility? Well, as we said earlier, uh, it it affects the production of reproductive hormones yeah uh, and that can uh, disrupt menstrual cycles for example in women and reduce testosterone levels in men which mm. affects fertility okay and so what roles do does fat play in cognitive development in children well uh, the omega-3s which is uh, uh, DHA uh, is essential for brain development in infants and young children. And uh, if there's a significant deficiency, it can cause developmental issues later in life. Is there any way that fat can affect the immune system? Oh yes, your immune system uh, requires uh, fatty acids for proper functioning. And uh, a low level of these fatty acids can it affect your immunity to the point where you'll be susceptible increased and repeated infections uh, throughout the body. Mm. So yes, definitely. And so can, can a fat-free diet be harmful if, you know, not used in moderation? Yep. Well, I mean, uh, anything can, but... Fat, yeah. fat is very important in the diet, very important. For example, uh, most people know about the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K. Yeah. They're kind of important, I think we all agree. Well, your body cannot absorb those nutrients uh, without uh, fatty acids present at the same time. So oh, okay. not only are you going to have all the problems connected with fat, fatty acid deficiency, now you run the risk of being deficient in vitamins A, D, E, and K. Yeah. And that just starts to roll dominoes. How does fat deficiency affect the absorption of vitamins besides what you just said? Well, it, it, that's what it does. It, 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 it leads it just, it, to... It, yeah, it just blocks the, uh, the body's ability to absorb them, even if they're present. And how quickly can fat deficiency symptoms develop? Does it take years, months... Depending on the individual and the diet they were on previously, uh, it can develop 30 to 60 days. Or it could even take a year if it... 
Yeah, it depends on you know the overall diet. Okay. But keep in mind that the standard industrialized diet is very high in omega six. Okay. Very low in omega three, and we need to have the opposite for optimal wellness. Okay, got it. So, can is there any way that fat deficiencies affect uh, digestion? Indeed, indeed. Um, not only uh, do you need the fat soluble nutrients, but the stomach secretes a natural acid called gastric acid. Yeah. You need that for the breakdown of proteins and digestion of proteins. But without adequate fat in the diet, it impairs that production. And then you can eventually lead to protein deficiency on top of it. See, the human body's chemistry is like a rose of dominoes. You fall one over and the others just keep falling one after the other because that affects that and this affects that and it's not necessarily a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Ken, and it, of course, fat can also cause mu muscle weakness, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, anybody who's in, into athletics, especially bodybuilding and powerlifting, uh, realize the importance of fat uh, in uh, muscle development, mm. uh, muscle strength. It helps to prevent uh, muscle weakness. It helps to prevent such things as uh, twitching and... Uh, oh, yeah, I've, I've seen that. Yeah, omega-3 is very, very important for everything. And so then how does it affect energy levels? Well, fat is a concentrated energy. Uh, you have proteins and carbohydrates that provide four calories per gram. Mm -hmm. Fats provide nine. Okay. So that's why people are afraid of them because they think it makes them fat. Fat does not make you fat, folks. Yeah. What makes you fat is refined carbohydrates and sugars. Um, and that's the subject for probably another... And that's how you can be fat or obese and be and, and, fat and, and, deficient. And be fat deficient, absolutely. What are the risks of low-fat diets in infants and children? Well, there's a, there's a great deal of concern because what parents have done is they have transferred their phobias fat. about fat to their children. I've seen it. And remember what affects an adult body let's say in three months, will affect a child's body in three weeks yeah. because they're tiny and uh, they're far more susceptible to issues uh, involving chemistry. I've seen it. It's, the, it's a really weird thing, it, probably for another video. How, how can we tell if, if, if our diets are too low in fat? Watch the initial signs. Mm -hmm. uh, Dry scaly skin, brittle hair, hair loss, mood changes, poor wound healing because of the effect that the omegas have on your immune system. Um, blood uh, uh, tests can reveal deficiencies in fat soluble vitamins uh, should some of these early symptoms begin to develop. And then, um, so can long term fat deficiencies lead to chronic diseases? Yep, especially heart disease. Wow. Okay. And so what are the effects of fat deficiencies on cholesterol levels? This is a weird one. Uh, healthy fats, again, the, especially the monounsaturated group, yeah. which include avocado and uh, olive oil, uh, disrupt the balance of HDL to LDL. So it causes a drop in HDL and a rise in LDL. And LDL is, you can remember the two, LDL stands for lousy cholesterol yeah. and HDL stands for happy one. <laughs> and so what it's doing is it's doing things in the reverse of what you need uh, as far as cholesterol balance. And so it, it would seem to me that, that fat deficiency can also lead to inflammation. Tremendously so. Yeah. And we already live in a very pro-inflammatory society. And keep in mind that the omega-6 group of fatty acids uh, are very, very pro-inflammatory. 
and that's why they always need to be provided in a less amounts than the omega-3s or 9s. Unfortunately, the standard diet that most of us survive on has the reverse. It is high in omega-6 and very low in the others. So the final question is, can fat deficiency be reversed and how? Very easily. Start eating some fat, folks. <laughs> uh, uh, olive oil, avocado oil, fatty nuts. fish, nuts, seeds. Uh, all of these things will help to provide very healthy fats uh, as opposed to the unhealthy fats like polyunsaturates and hydrogenated oils that our standard junk diet is loaded with.